This is Next Gen TV and I'm talking to Pierre Ketridge of IP Performance. Pierre, a local company just down the road in Bristol with a very exciting local project. That's right, Brian. Thank you very much for interviewing me. Uh, yes, uh, IP Performance are involved in a uh, part EU funded project called 3E Houses which is all about providing smart metering to social housing throughout Europe. And the project is uh, being piloted in Bulgaria, Germany, Spain and in the UK. Now IP Performance have been involved with this project from the outset and we are in general providing the wireless connectivity and the backhaul for the data being collected from those smart meters which can then be brought back to a data center and the subscribers can then look at their energy metering and their usage of energy. It sounds like you're a bit of an unknown force here in your little offices in Bristol. It sounds like you're all over the place. Tell us a bit more about the company. Okay, yes, we do fly under the radar a little bit, but uh, IP Performance have been around since 1994, and we are a network infrastructure company providing overlay services to the network operators and the MVNOs, ISPs, hosted services, th those sort of companies. We have a larger remit, but uh, from the next gen um, remit, that is, is, what, is what we operate in. Yeah, is, th is that why you're here at Next Gen? You've got a booth here. You know, why is this exhibition and conference important to you? Well, we have some quite exciting new uh, services and products that uh, we are offering now. Uh, one of those is to do with security, and it's um, it's from Blue C Blue Coat Systems, and um, who provide uh, filtering. Uh, security filtering, web filtering, um, acceleration, so op optimizing the network that you're running your data over. And uh, they're now providing this as a cloud service, which we are the first in Europe to have been accredited to resell. So it's our product powered by Blue Coat. So we have just got our um, Blue Coat uh, MSP, so Managed Security Services Provider accreditation. And uh, at the same time, we've also been the first company in the UK to be certified as a Blue Coat Professional Services Partner, which means that not only can we offer the consultancy to our own customers, but we can offer them to other Blue Coat customers within the distribution and channel chain. So it opens us up to, to, to consult wherever you know, we are called to do so within the industry. Well, congratulations on that, but I think you're also talking about something very important in relation to IPv6 while you're here. Yes, um, as we all know, IPv6 is uh, the new um, IP address schema on the block and uh, is being adopted everywhere, so all new networks that are being rolled out have to be IPv6 compliant. Um, so it's then... Uh, important for the operators to be able to manage how they distribute the IPv6 allocation. It's very complicated ad address strings, it's 128 bits long, it's in a hexadecimal format, so trying to manage these things using traditional tools like Excel spreadsheets becomes impossible. So we have um, DDI and IPAM products from BlueCat networks which allow you to simplify the whole process and centralize the control of the IPv6 address schema. It's also important with the old IPv4 addresses which are going to be around for a long time to reclaim addresses, address pools that have been given out and are not being used because there will still be legacy equipment out there for the foreseeable future still using IPv4. So to be able to offer these uh, network operators a um, easy to use Con, you know, converged tool that allows you to uh, address or to, uh, to manage both address spaces simultaneously is going to be very important in any broadband rollout. And it sounds like you've come up with the right product at the right time there, Pierre. Well, we would like to think so, and uh, I, I think our um, customer list would attest to that. Well, I feel we've uncovered a British success story here at uh, Next Gen TV, and so thanks for giving us some time to talk with us. Thank you very much, Brian.